In this video, I'll talk about what it takes to be able to create any 3D model in Blender or what is required from you. Uh, I'm not going to show the whole process of uh, creating, let's say, a complex 3D model. I'll just uh, give you a path or show you overall path or guide that uh, especially beginners need, need to know before they start out in a program like Blender. But uh, now you might be saying, I, I know what I need to know, I know what I need to learn, so give me some practical knowledge uh, so that I can use it immediately and have some results, right? Give me some practical uh, ways to create some particular 3D model, right? You, you might be saying that. But if you are a beginner, this video is for beginners, as, as mentioned in the, in the description. If you are a beginner, you're usually uh, very overwhelmed when you start out in a complex program like Blender. When you open it, uh, you, you don't know what is where, what's what, right? Especially when you look at other professional uh, artists' work, for example, complex 3D models, renders, right? For example, characters or some machines, right? Mechanical uh, 3D models, right? When you look at them, uh, they look very different and they look very complex, right? For example, you look at an interior design, exterior design, some uh, building or environment, and you, you, might, you might think that, oh, I need to know a lot of things. And I think I need to know different things to make uh, each different uh, type, of, type of 3D model, right? And uh, beginners have no idea about how long it will take them to be able to create something amazing like that, right? Uh, but, well, this video will tell that there is no secret, no need to worry, no need to be overwhelmed. Uh, the mug, or a very simple 3D object that you can make in day one in Blender, and the very complex 3D model that uh, professional modelers make, uh, the difference between them is uh, very little. Uh, I mean, very simple. They are made in the same way and they have the same components, right? They are made in the same way and they are made of the same elements, the same components, the same building blocks. All of them are the same. Uh, the only difference between you and your model and the professional 3D designer and their model is just the tools that they use and how well they know these tools and how much time they have spent using them. So this is the only difference. So uh, let's uh, dive a bit deeper. We're talking about Blender, so uh, and uh, when you are starting Blender, you might be overwhelmed by the tools that you can use, you know, to make different stuff. And your purpose might be different, yeah, uh, because Blender can make a lot of things, not only 3D models. Let's explore uh, 3D models, of course. Uh, these are uh, what Blender can create, right? But you can create animations, feature films, yeah, short animated films, right? And you can create motion graphics in Blender. You can create 2D art, which is unique in Blender. Uh, you can create 2D art, 2D animations in 3D space. Uh, you can create simulations, uh, physics, right? Uh, special effects in Blender, like explosions and stuff. Uh, and you can al also create post-production effects, uh, like uh, camera tracking and uh, motion tracking and stuff, masking, uh, visual effects, right? So all of these can be created using Blender. But now we only concentrate on making 3D models. So how can I create amazing 3D models, right? We will only concentrate on uh, 3D models here. Let's, uh, let's quickly go over these things. You need to know three things. Uh, first, you need to know exactly what all those 3D models are made of. Very complex 3D models, right? Characters and other stuff, right? What are they made of? You need to know exactly what uh, the components are, the building blocks are. So all of them are essentially the same thing, for a computer at least. So, and the second thing uh, that you need to know is good knowledge of tools. In our case, it's Blender. 
how well you know Blender, how well you know the tools that are necessary to create 3D models. It's obvious, right? You know it. And then the, the last thing that you need to have is experience. The, the, the next thing is just time. That's it. Now, let's look at 3D models. Uh, as I said, all 3D models share the same ingredients, the same com components, and uh, it's very simple. Everything that you see on the internet, on our station, and all those renders are usually, uh, I'm not talking about animations or f uh, visual effects, as I said earlier, we are only concentrating on static 3D models, which are not moving, right? Uh, all of them have the same components. So, look at this dot. Uh, this is a part of a 3D model. This is only one dot, and it, in Blender it's called vertex. Just a point in 3D space, right? Three-dimensional space. It's called vertex. This is one component. And if we have two vertices, we can connect them with a line. And this is the edge of any shape or outline of any shape. This is called uh, edge in Blender. And if we have three or more vertices, we can connect all of them with edges. And when we have enclosed area, we can fill it with a face. So this is called face or a polygon. This is the simple, I think, probably the simplest 3D model. And we can connect more edges, more vertices, more faces to create any 3D models. So all 3D models are made in the same way. So as I said earlier, this is only one part of 3D model. This is the mesh or geometry part. Uh, the next part, which is probably uh, something that usually uh, lies to you, shows that this model is very complex. It is the material. Usually the materials make 3D models look amazing, look very detailed, look crazy, right? When you, when you see them, uh, oh God, I, 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 I will probably never be able to do, to make that stuff, right? So materials are another big part of 3D models. Uh, we will talk about materials a bit later. So this is essentially what 3D models are made of. The spaceship that you see on the internet and the simple box like that you like you see here are made in the same with the same components uh, i'm not talking about fire which is simulation uh, i'm not talking about water i'm not talking about wind which blows uh, which moves trees right these are not 3d models so these are made in different ways right we are concentrating on these static 3d models so in in blender this part and in many other software, this part uh, is called mesh. And there is no material information, there is no color here, there is nothing here, right? Just the mesh part. So uh, let's say this is a mesh. Uh, by the way, here there is some lighting. So anyway, forget about that lighting. There is some mesh, right? Mesh part. Vertices, faces, edges. And you can create something interesting like this only with those uh, things, right? Like uh, three things, uh, vertices, edges, and faces. But what makes, as I said earlier, what makes th this model look great is materials. So if you add materials to this mesh, if you assign particular material to particular part of this mesh, you will create something interesting like you see on the right, right? So whatever 3D model that you see are uh, are made of these two parts, mesh part, which are made of vertices, edges, and faces, and plus materials uh, that you assign to them. And we will talk about materials in a separate video. I will tell you how, what materials are, how they are created, what are essential parts or components like I showed like, uh, in, in mesh. So I'll we will talk about this in a separate video. But uh, anyways, materials are not uh, that complex. Uh, you, you, you don't need to be afraid of materials, right? They are not complex either. They are simple too. We'll talk about that. So any 3D model that you see uh, on the internet or wherever, which looks very complex, very detailed, are made in the same way. And they are just uh, assigned some materials to look great, right? They're essentially some 
edges, vertices, and faces, which make up a, an interesting model like this that you see on the screen, right? Now let's explore, uh, let's have some practical uh, activity here. Now I'm in Blender and I, you can see uh, an interesting model, right? If you are experienced, you, probably you are not, right? You're, uh, maybe you're probably a beginner, right? If you see this, this can look complex. And if you're just starting in Blender, you can say, uh, I don't know, maybe it takes about 15 minutes, right? I don't know. If you're just starting, if you are completely new to Blender, you have no idea how this is made, right? But if you go inside, uh, there is something called edit mode. You can, as I said in the video, you can uh, manipulate each of the components here. So these dots are vertices, as I said, and these uh, lines are edges, as I said, and these are faces. You don't have to know what I'm doing here. You just need to just watch, relax, right? Now, uh, there are a lot of things going on here, right? How I made this, how long it took me to make this. And after I made this part, I probably duplicated, copied the others, right? But how I rotated, how I rotated them exact same degrees, right? All of them are rotated in exactly the same degree. So yeah, if, in order for, uh, to do this, you need to know some uh, tools. So the second thing, as I said, the second thing that you need to know here are the tools. Let's go back to what you need to know, uh, the, the slide about what you need to know. As you can see here, we explored exactly what 3D models are made of, right? We learned that they are made of mesh part and material part, yeah, mainly. And now the next thing that uh, makes you a great professional 3D models is the good knowledge of tools. Uh, this is what you usually learn. This is actually what takes a lot of time to learn all the tools. So. This next thing, time, exper experience, you need time. You need to use them for a long time in order to master all these tools. You need to explore new tools to make new models, right? So these are three things. Now we are back in this uh, scene. Let me create the, uh, this from scratch. It, it won't take long, trust me. Uh, there are primitive objects uh, in Blender here in object mode, you can add. You don't have to do this. It's just demonstration. I added a new cube. I can move it uh, with these tools. I can move, right? Uh, actually, Blender is a really capable software. Everything is done with shortcuts. Uh, so let's quickly make this. If you're a beginner, you don't know what to do. But if you're a bit experienced, you know how to create this, right? I will select these two faces and right click, subdivide them. Select these four, these four, and I will press I and I again to kind of uh, separately insert faces here. Uh, and I will right click, subdivide again. Uh, I didn't have to subdivide here, so I will press IE, uh, extrude face along normals. I will extrude them inwards, right? And I will press I again. I will press Alt E, extrude along normals, and hold down Shift and move a little. So this is it. I made it. So how did I make this interesting uh, thing, right? I will add another. Uh, so empty, like arrows. So I will uh, select this empty. Shift select this. Shift S. Selection to active. I brought this empty to the center of this object. Now I will add something called modify. We don't have to do it. You just, I just want to show you if you know the tools, uh, this is easy to make. I, I just want to show this. I'll select the second empty and I'll sl slowly move the second empty upwards like so. And I'll just uh, kind of multiply the amount, the number of these, and select the second empty and RZ. I will rotate this around the Z axis. Uh, however, 
uh, I want. So yeah, these are the two identical things. So it didn't take long, as you saw. So if you, uh, this is actually a very, very simple model. It's nowhere close to the complex models that you probably aim to make in the future, right? But this is just the demonstration. I, I just, what I want to say is, you just need to know the tools. You just need to have experience. So don't worry when you're starting out in Blender. The only things that you need to know are different tools. And uh, if you want to learn all the tools, all the modeling tools in Blender, there is, uh, uh, I have created a very big uh, comprehensive video course. It's on Udemy. Uh, you can uh, go to the links below the video uh, and if you buy my course you will support this channel and you will get some free knowledge here on YouTube so go ahead and check that out there are a lot of uh, example videos there you can watch if you like it you can buy and learn all the tools in Blender to create amazing uh, 3D models so uh, good luck with your journey in 3D modeling and yeah thank you